What's up guys? So someone asked me the best question I've heard all week. What motivates a photographer? Super excited, let's get into it. So the cool thing about this question is, depending on who you ask, you're gonna get different um, answers, right? Everyone has their own reason or their own motivations for why they you know, take pictures or consider themselves a photographer. Oh, I just want to capture the moment or freeze the memory in time. You guys got to come up with more original stuff. Oh, I'm a light chaser. I'm just chasing light, living life through my lens. I'm a visual storyteller. I love creating things. I love making things. I love connecting with other people through my creations. I love inspiring other people the feelings that I get when I look back at some of my uh, photos from when I first started or even before I really considered myself uh, a photographer. The emotion that I feel, the connection that I have with my photos, looking at one of my pictures and saying, I took that. That's, that's what motivates me in that aspect. Fun fact, I actually read a study that says so when you look at a photograph and it jogs that memory, it brings that memory back up, your brain synapses, I guess, we're making words up and stuff up today, your brain synapses follow the same path back to that memory. And because it does that, it brings back all the associated feelings with it. Have you ever looked at a photo of a, a lost relative and you get goosebumps or you get chills, right? It's because your brain, in order to go back to that memory, goes through all those emotions again. And I just think that's fascinating that, you know, there's that mental connection to, you know, memories, memories that you have. We uh, lost a friend not too long ago. He passed away. And today I was going through my hard drive and I found old pictures of all of us back in 2010 for this video. I found these pictures and um, seeing his face, realizing that I had pictures of him, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm never gonna see him again. And I have these pictures of us hanging out, enjoying life. You know, it's, uh, it's really neat. Yeah. So here, prime example. I loved this car. I get these nice, warm, fuzzy feelings inside because I made friends that I'll, I'll have for the rest of my life. John Chelly, Bruce, Troy, John Ritchie, Pat Kazaza. Scott Collins, really simple. Some of what motivates me is just the feelings that I have for some of my pictures. Another reason is because I love to create. My dad's side of the family is amazing. My father can sit there and, and make a sculpture out of nothing. He took a, a, a piece of foam, you know, like packing foam, and he carved it into this, this dolphin that was about this big. It was amazing. My aunt, she paints. Another aunt draws. My grandmother writes short children's stories, which are amazing, by the way. And she makes things out of, out of, out of nothing. So when we were kids, you know, we would always walk the beach growing up in New Jersey. We would pick up seashells. She took this one mussel shell and we made it into Christmas ornaments when we were kids, right? That's a full fledged Santa. Looks great. Beard and everything. It's amazing. Me? Useless. Completely useless. I can't even draw a straight line when I have a ruler. That's how bad I am. When I picked up my camera, I felt it was just me. I knew it was me. And that's my way of creating. That's why I love it. So one of the biggest motivating factors for me is going to a new place and getting to see cool stuff. But there's a caveat. I'm sure you go to a new place and you drive around and you're like, oh, Oh, this is so cool. Oh, hey, oh, look at that building. That's cool. Get out of the car and walk around. It's amazing. Have your camera ready. For instance, this picture. This is a picture of a grooming tracker that looks like it's crashed into the ground. So cool. Apparently, it's been in Philadelphia since 2011. I go to Philly almost every year to visit family and friends. I've never, ever, ever noticed this was there. As a matter of fact, you would almost never notice it's there because it's in, in an alleyway and you really wouldn't see it. But during my brother's bachelor party, we're walking down the street and I see 
this plane that looks like it crashed on the ground. Couldn't believe it. So I go back to the Airbnb, I get my camera, I come right back, and I start taking pictures of it. Had no idea what it was, no clue. Sure, it was an art project, but I didn't know that. So anyway, I took pictures of it, thought it was really cool. Two days later, I started research. I was like, oh, why, you know, why, why is there a random plane in the middle of Philadelphia that looks like it's crashed into the ground? And then I found out that some 27 year old, 27 year old did it as an art project. He went to the Philadelphia Art Institute. I forget his name. I will put that right here. Anyway, he made this art project looking like it crashed into the ground and it gets even better. The whole cockpit was taken out and he made it a greenhouse. So he gets like seeds and stuff from the farmers. He throws it in the cockpit. He has solar powered grow lights and he grows herbs and spices and he donates them to local restaurants. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. It's so cool. But you wouldn't know about this. I wouldn't have known about this unless I was walking around the city and stumbled across it. That's the beauty of it. Also, pictures give me a way to remember details of the places I go and the things I see. Have you ever had a story and you told it to someone and you know it was supposed to be really funny and you get done telling it and no one's laughing but you and you got that super awkward moment of silence and you're like uh yeah I, I guess you had to be there that would be me on every story if, the, if i didn't have my pictures to remind me of the details that i have that go with every picture and that's what i love that's that's what i love about photography i motivate and inspire myself with a lot of the photos i take all right so those are my motivating factors for why I love photography and why I do what I do. Everyone has different motivating factors. What's yours? Put it down in the comments for me. Let's have a conversation about it. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time.